Welcome back. It's been a little while, but today I have a eBay mail day. These are four total auctions. I won, and first one I bought from New England Sports Cards. Each of these cards was a dollar. I'm going to be keeping all of these ones from New England. Uh, Michael Turner, honors rookie. Cool card. A 750. <clears throat> Larry Johnson at a 500. Flair 10. 500. Really cool. Love Larry Johnson. It's kind of Larry Johnson focused on some of these lots. Um, Larry Johnson Authentics, although not in the best of shape. Rough corners there, but this is out of 1250. <clears throat> A really cool Justin Smith Fleer Game Time rookie out of 2001. Uh, great career, also a bangle, so I love it. I <clears throat> uh, really like this card, 2000 Vanguard Jamal Lewis rookie. I mean, I can't believe this is a buck. I remember when this is like a $40 plus card back when he was a 2000 yard running back. Another one from Upper Deck of Legends from 2000, out of 2000, uh, and a Thomas Jones. As I'm sure you may have noticed, I like Thomas Jones quite a bit. I have a lot of his rookies, um, so just had to add this. And a Ultimate Victory out of 2000, John Abraham rookie. So yeah, nice lot, all a buck. I think it was fr free shipping, I believe. So uh, yeah, all keepers, all gonna go in the personal collection. Um, nope. <clears throat> this is a single card I picked up. It was like a dollar seventy, but four dollar shipping, so almost a six dollar card. But it's a two thousand UD Ionics Brian Erlacher rookie out of two thousand. Uh, I just wanted this to have a nice Erlacher rookie in the collection. <clears throat> and these next two cards, <clears throat> a Bowman Chrome Larry Johnson autograph rookie. And this immaculately shaped Contenders Larry Johnson autograph rookie out of 344. These two cards I bid six dollars and sixty six cents, and Evil Omen must have scared off the other bidders because I got them. I remember when this was selling for well over a hundred dollars, and getting it for three dollars and thirty three cents seems ridiculous, but I'll take it. And last but not least, a lot of cards here. Um, out. Okay. Two graded cards. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just go for these first. These are free shipping. Uh, combined shipping, obviously. Uh, I bought them all. This is a stack of baseball cards from the same seller. Uh, these were all $3.99. And it, they're all autographs. Well, most of them are autographs. Desmond Jennings, uh, Russell Martin, and a bunch of Topps Chrome base rookie autos. Matt Chicho. Man, this reflection is ridiculous. Uh, Dennis Sarfate. John Morelio. Tim Gandeville. These are all from 2007. A first year card, Ross Martin, and Mets Lasting Millage. Bowman Chrome Auto. So I thought for three, sorry, I thought for three ninety nine. I mean, it wasn't like what I was aiming for when I bought them, but I was looking at the seller's other items and I was like, oh, I'll just slap this on for four bucks. 
just like I just slapped this on for 99 cents. Um, <laughs> the Channing Crowder Bowman's best autograph out of 25. I thought for 99 cents, what the hell? Um, <clears throat> all these cards I'll probably just resell. Eventually put away. And uh, again, this was uh, actually a penny for these two cards. No reason, just add them because uh, it was a penny. Um, let me see here. Oh, here. This I might keep just for the hell of it. Uh, it was Kevin Garnett Tops Gallery 8.5 Rookie. This was $1.99. Um, cost way more than that just to grade it. So, I like KG and uh, just thought for a buck ninety nine. I have a Kevin Garnett credit card now. Um, and then the rest is actually why I bought it. Uh, two lots that were $14.99. Uh, these are all autographs. Football autographs, except for this. <laughs> this was what was the title picture of the lot. This, for whatever reason, Chris Sims, Beckett, 9, Bowman Chrome Refractor out of 500. And I clicked on it, and I'm like, what the hell is this lot? And, uh, you know, it was all Bowman Chrome Autograph Rookies. Was the first lot. Right here, $14.99. 50 total cards for 30 bucks. so I thought that was pretty good. Uh, less than a dollar an autograph. Um, and I love the Bowman Autographs. Bowman Chrome used to have great-looking cards. Um, I might keep a couple of these. Uh... Not this guy, though. <laughs> uh, Jericho Cotri. I might keep this one, though. I like Jericho Cotri back in the day. There's a Josh Harris. Sean McDonald. This guy had a moment in the sun of semi-popularity. I might keep this guy just because back in 2003, I used to get nothing but Dominic Davis cards. Uh, so I might as well add it to the massive amount of autographs I already have of him. And I figure you can keep a couple cards when you're spending less than a dollar an autograph. This is a good uh, Eagle tight end for a while, LJ Smith. Uh, if uh, somebody buy that. Not a great Eagle card, Billy McMullen. But, you know, it was in the lot. I didn't realize there was two of these Kareem Kellys, so a little disappointing. I highly doubt I'll be able to sell these, even though he was a Florida State Trojan, but you never know. This guy had a moment in the sun, too. Arnaz Battle, Bone Chrome Autograph. And Jets one time hopeful Brooks Bollinger. Uh, interesting autograph, just B. It looks bowl eight. <laughs> uh, at least personalized with number five, so cool autograph. And some 2002 autographs in the lot. Javon Hunter never became anything. Josh Scobie was a special teams guy for a little while. Luke Staley, uh, a lot of hype with this guy, never turned out to be anything. And Maurice Morris had a good, uh, good career. You know, nothing great, but solid. So those are the Bowman Chrome autos. And then these are all Topps Chrome autographs for $14.99. Main reason I even bought from this seller to begin with, because I was like, oh, wow, these are really cool looking cards. Uh, we have Lance Seastrunk. Michael... Uh, Campan Campanard, Ben Tate, Brandon LaFell, Taylor Price, Javon Ringer, Chris Beanie Wells, Jared Cook Jr. Not horrible guys. Kevin Smith, a decent year, a couple years. Fred Davis, 
All right, tight end for a little while. Derek Harvey. Really like these uh, autographs here. Kevin Kolb. A lot of potential at one time with this guy. Chris Henry. Potential with him as well. Gary Russell. Wah, wah. That's all I got to say with him. Thomas Clayton. Anthony Gonzalez. Ohio State guy. I thought he was going to be a lot more than what he was. Uh, Audrey Allison. Chauncey Stuckey. Played a little bit. Paul Williams. I don't think this guy ever even played. I could be wrong about that, but I don't remember him ever playing. Aaron Ross. I cannot sell this guy's cards to save my life, so I highly doubt this will ever leave my personal collection here. Jerome Harrison, one of the best single season games of all time. Look it up. Tavares Jackson, man, this guy had a lot of potential that just went nowhere. It's a cool autograph. This guy's a pro bowler. Michael Robinson. Penn State. Brian Calhoun. Willie Reed. Here's a cool autograph I might hold on to. Michael Clayton. I used to like this finest set. So I might just keep this just because I like the set. <laughs> it's out of $9.99. So nice on card autograph. Actual Chris Sims autograph. Tops pristine. These are numbered. They look nice though. I don't know if there's any Chris Sims fans out there, to be honest with you, but maybe. Kyle Bowler. Another really nice looking card. I doubt that anyone's going to be picking up Bowler cards anytime soon, but still a really nice card. Sometimes it doesn't really matter the player. Sometimes the set matters almost more, and sometimes it's vice versa. Chris Brown. Again, I do like this these finest sets back then, so I might hold on to this Chris Brown. He had a good year. I think I'll hold on to all these finest cards, but maybe keep that one. Like a LeBrandon Toefield. Doubt I'll hold on to this one. But they're all at $9.99. Ernest Graham. Made a decent career. Florida Gator. Might sell. Tallman Gardner. This guy is another Florida State Seminole. And last but not least, the top's finest William Green auto rookie out of 1,200. There was a time where this is probably a $20, $25 autograph. So, yeah. So, pretty cool. Um, been a little slow lately uh, with holidays, birthdays, you name it. Um, but I will catch you on the next video. Later.